Commenting on the torture of his lawyer Intizar Hussain Panjuta, former Prime Minister Imran Khan said, those who are ruling the country today consider themselves above the law. Mr. Khan's lawyer was freed from state custody on Saturday, visibly shaken from the custodial torture. Imran Khan recalled that the regime had previously murdered PTI supporter Zille Shah, who was a special needs person. Mr. Khan called on Pakistanis to decide once and for all what kind of country they want to live in. Referring to protests on the ongoing human rights violations in the country and for genuine democracy, Mr. Khan asked, quote, if not now, then when, unquote. Illegally incarcerated former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan is being mentally tortured in the Diyala jail in Rawalpindi, Khan's sister Alima alleged on Monday. Alima Khan, sister of PTI Imran Khan, said that her brother has not faced physical torture but has endured mental torment. Speaking to the media outside at Diyala jail with Imran Khan's lawyer Salman Akram Raja, Alima shared that Dr. Asim Yusuf, Imran Khan's personal physician, had finally been allowed to examine him and found the former Prime Minister stable though he had visibly lost body mass. Quote, they may not have been physical torture, but the mental pressure is clear, unquote. Last month, Mr. Khan was held incommunicado for weeks, placed in a death cell in isolation for over 22 and a half hours a day while being deprived of electricity. A massive protest was held by British Pakistanis in London outside 10 Downing Street on Sunday, demanding the release of illegally incarcerated former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan. Addressing the protesters, Dr. Shabazz Gil said, The entire Pakistani nation must now decide to put an end to fascism. Quote, We have to decide either we continue to live like slaves or come out onto the streets. Unquote. Senior PTI leader Sayyid Zulfiqar Bukhari, who organized the protest, said, Quote, Before November 7, the UN Human Rights Council will again speak against the atrocities and human rights violations in Pakistan. Unquote. The UN Human Rights Council has previously ruled Imran Khan's detention as arbitrary and called for his release. Pakistanis from all over Europe attended the protest. In what many are calling the most consequential election in decades, Americans are set to go to polls to elect their next president in less than 24 hours. This year, election experts expect voter turnout to be robust, with Americans eager to make their voices heard in what will probably be a very close contest between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Trump and Harris have continued their blitz across key swing states such as Georgia, Michigan and North Carolina as they press for any possible advantage in the closing days of the campaign. While inflation and immigration issues are important for Americans, globally the election is also being watched closely. The newly elected president will have to quickly form a policy on occupational Israeli genocidal campaign in Gaza, the war in Ukraine and address human rights violations in countries of strategic importance like Pakistan.